Hey guys, welcome back to Oda V. My name's Luke Reddington, and the reason why I'm bothering you guys today is I want to show you my Bloomsbury Bitter Cocktail. The inspiration I got behind this drink was, it's summer right now, it's very, very warm. What do I love to drink in warm weather in summer? Ice cold beer. How can I transform a terrific gin into a beer style cocktail? Well, I'm gonna show you guys today. I was very much inspired by the wheat beer style. Lots of crazy and really, really interesting flavors going on in wheat beers. Very, very much citrus and spice going on. So I thought I wanted to use those flavor foundations to make this cocktail today. So to, so to start off with, start off with a nice slug of the famous Tanqueray Number no. 10 gin. Uh, this gin, don't have to say too much about it, speaks for itself. It has won best in show three years in a row, so not too bad for a gin that's only 10 or 11 years old. Nice slug of that one. Now, next of all, what's indicative of a nice frosty cold beer? Well, one of the things would definitely have to be a nice creamy head on the top, that nice froth that keeps all the flavor and aroma of your drink in. How do we do that in cocktails? By adding just a touch of egg white. So just a splash of egg white just there. Once that's happened, we're gonna give it a good shake. We're gonna get a nice creamy texture and also an appearance to the beer as well. Next of all, a splash of honey water, just a splash. So this is honey water, not straight honey. Though. Honey water is a little bit softer. What it'll do is it won't overpower and bring too much sweetness to the drink. Also too, I find a lot of honey and sweeter flavors in wheat beers. This is the style of beer I'm looking for, the style of cocktail I'm looking for. Next of all, some nice homemade lager syrup. Now I've chosen a lager from South Australia that features a lot of Savin hops. Now Savin hops create a very, very high citrus and grape flavors to the beer. So just a little bit of sprinkling of that in there is really gonna bring out a lot of those beautiful fruit notes that we get with Tanqueray 10. Remembering, Tanqueray 10 is distilled with whole botanicals, whole fruit. Next of all, to bring out those citrus flavors again and to add a little bit of backbone and balance to this drink, is a nice slug of white grapefruit juice. Freshly pressed is the key. You really want to get those nice acidic flavors coming through. White grapefruit is a soft grapefruit, is a soft citrus, sorry. So what it will do is it will add citrus without having to overpower all the other elements of the drink. Last, and by no means least, is our Amaro. Italian Amaro is a beautiful bitter style liqueur that creates a lot of herbs and spices in the flavoring that really is gonna bring out those botanicals in the gin. Not only do we bring out the botanicals in the gin, but we really bring out those flavors that are very indicative of wheat beer. And that was my general you know, inspiration behind the drink. Now really quickly, just gonna give a really, really brief dry shake, just to emulsify, I guess it's a way of whisking the egg white, so it doesn't stay uh, gluggy, so it's nice and foamy and you know separates and brings all the flavors together. Add some ice. Now, this is when we just give it a big shake. And served in a beautiful little short-handled ale glass. Now. Like I said, the inspiration for this cocktail was beer, so it needed to have some kind of an appearance. Now here at Oda V, we do sell beer, but we really pride ourselves on our cocktails. What better way than, I guess, combining beer and cocktails in the same glass? There we go, top it up with a little bit of carbonation, so a splash of soda water there, just to bring it to the top. Got a nice frothy head there, forming like a good cold one down at the local, and top it up with some nice floral bitters. Now these are dandelion and burdock bitters, Again, I'm really gonna play on the floral notes we get from the gin. Bring those flavors out. There you are, guys. It's been my pleasure to, pre to present to you today the Bloomsbury Bitter with a side of pretzels on the side. Enjoy.